Thank you. Without him, you will fail. Without without I yield myself to you, Lord. I yield my life to you, Lord. It's a breaking point. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we come before your presence today. Eternal God, we worship and glorify you. You are being our hiding place. You are being our shield. You are being our buckler. You are being our sustainer. You have been the source of our strength. Turning coming in, I've been honored. If not for you, Lord, the enemy would have said, Aha, so we want it to be. But we are kept by the power of the Lord. Day by day, night by night, kept. Preserved, perfected, Lord. We come to a point of realization that the Christian journey is not an easy one. The road and the path to heaven is very narrow. And those that will make it there will be the way fearing men. Lord, help us to 
to watch our ways, to watch our words, to watch our actions, to watch our ministry, to watch our ministration, so that at the end, the adversary of our soul will have nothing against us. Father, help us that every now and then we testimony. The point of absolute surrenderedness, total surrenderedness, the place of emptiness where everything of us emptied before you. A point where we can be able to say, not my will, O oh Lord. Yes, all things are lawful, but then we realize all things are not expedient. At the point where by Lord will allow ourselves to be trampled under feet kingdom. The point whereby we do your work, your way, not our way. This year is running out. Lord, we pray that everything that is not of you, still in us, Father, push. Speak to us now. Jesus name we pray praise the Lord I will service today again in Jesus name I'll be talking on the subject of revival and strange fire revival and strange fire and as you must have for quite some time we've been having what we called revival in our church globally. Of course, we tagged it crusade. But then you need to understand also what revival is all about. There is a there is a national revival, there is a congregational revival. There is a family revival, and then there is a personal revival. If there is no personal revival, a change in your life, turning point in your life, restoration in your life, there will be no family revival. There will be no congregational revival. There will be no national revival. There will be no revival at all. Pray God will revive us. Yeah. As you live the out as a minister, church to grow. I want my church to grow. And then we do different things for the sake and the purpose of increasing the number of the membership. And if care is not taken, then we begin to employ some strategies that may not be in line with the will of God we begin to bring in strange fire what is strange fire strange fire is any unwholesome method that contradicts the will the plan and the purpose of God strange fire is anything we do that is not commanded by the Lord, irrespective of the reason or the purpose why we do it. Chapter 58, verse 1, cry aloud. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my and the house of Jacob their sin. 
and the house of Jacob understand this of God, redeemed by the Lord, called out by the Lord, the Lord, and yet the Lord of the people, he say unto his representative, his minister, the shepherd over the people, cry aloud. They give you name, spare not. They attack you, spare not. They insult you, spare not. They ridicule you, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people, my people, people that are called by the name of the Lord, people that are members, yes, but but by life, ungodly people, my people, by activity, God's people, but by death, by consecration, by person, ungodly people, the house of Jacob, house of deeper life, Bible, the law will visit us. The Lord will help us. The Lord will turn us around in Jesus' name. Psalm 85, verse 6. Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Will thou not revive us again, when there is revival? And Habakkuk went further to say in chapter 3, of Habakkuk, the O Lord, I have heard thy speech, and I was afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of in the midst of the years. Make known in wrath, remember mercy. I pray that the mercy of God will show up in the place of joy. Jesus' name. We hear earlier the study, the search, the scripture. Korah did all that happened. They were looking, but they were looking for the change in the wrong way. And they got in trouble. And because of these three men, not just that. 250,000 souls were whatever change we want in our churches let us be careful that we don't do it the wrong way revival has its own way of happening God is a God of revival he alone can revive we cannot be more interested in the work of God than the God of the work. So all you've got to do, all I've got to do, is complete and total surrenderedness unto him. And then we see his glory. It's not the amount of members that really matter to God, but the faithfulness unto God. Hebrews chapter 11. You see, a lot of them were mentioned. Some of them did not have congregation that you may say. And some of them did not do things in language. Oh, you did great. You're a hero. When God put them side by every other person, Looking at their life, their consecration, their devotion, their dedication, the sacrifices they made in order to stand for God. God said, this is an hero. May you be an hero for God. May you not labor in vain. In the name of Jesus. And so understand of God when it comes to 
revival. And I from the writings of Habakkuk what he said. And I pray that we take heed. And God in our lives will revive his word. When we talk about revival with strange fire, trying to get things done in the wrong way, trying to make correction in an ungodly way, trying to God, and trying to build without the master builder, the result is always destructive. And then, when there is no real revival in you, understand, we can do all the shouting, all the clapping. We can also listen to all the testimonies in the world. If there is no revival, holiness and righteousness, without which no man shall see the Lord, at the end of all our testimonies, we will miss heaven. That will not be our portion. In the name of Jesus, when there is loss of fervent love for God, you need revival. To verse 4 tells us, he says, nevertheless, you have done all this, you have done all that. Nevertheless, I have something against you because you have left your first love. Where is your love when it comes to your relationship with the Lord? When serving God is now being done with a heart that is not perfect. You're serving God with an ulterior motive, you need revival. Something is wrong. You're doing it with a strange fire. Now, worldliness in your life. Compromise in your life. Carnality in your life. Love not the world. Then are the things all of the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Then you need revival. Revival. When you in the fellowship within the body of Christ, within maybe I should say the so-called family the brotherly love is not cheap is broken down. Then when I gave my life to Christ. And then you meet a fellow you literally can hand over your life to that other believer because of the level of trust and confidence that we had in one another. Even those of us that say we are ministers, we cannot be trusted anymore. What's wrong with the church? We need revival. God with something else. His personal relationship with activity. Revival. When you see people in the church fighting for position. Those days when they call you to take a position of responsibility. Of is the weight of it. The, the first thing you think of it, do I have the grace, what it takes to do it? It's not about recognition. It's popularity. But God will judge me. And then you say, no, sir, I'm not sure I can do it. And then you get encouraged. You came, my brother. And you know what we do? Then you go and fall on your face. Lord, help me. I cannot do it by myself. What you are not even giving? We need revival in our church. This is not the church I came to meet. We need revival. Train fire have come in. And that before this year is over, Everything that is not of God in us will be consumed Amen. by the fire of heaven in Jesus' name. Those days, before you for people to come and serve the Lord, you see people coming in droves. 
then we don't have many cars. We don't have many clothes. We don't have Let me tell you, back then, when we say we have retreats, where we used for retreats, our stadium that we used for retreats are built and palm fronts. And then the hotel where we stay were built with all these things we call from the bushes. And then we give them names, Holiness Hostel. Dress is palm leaf. And then we give another one, humility. Another one, righteousness. And we were happy. Now that we have real hotel, where is the joy? We have the building. Where is joy? Where is the peace? We need revival. We need to return back. days and you have deviated and you are now chasing shadow heaven will judge you because you are not showing the way for the people coming behind because you are deviated from the original plan and the purpose of God for your life you go back to living on palm front or palm fruit or, or palm uh, but our life of humility Consecration, dedication, righteousness, love for one another. Let others see Jesus in you. If they cannot read the Bible, let them be able to read you. Let it not be about recognition, position, title. Pay attention here. All those things will perish with the world. I don't think of the people in my head. In anything I do, I was appointed there, tied to. But when it comes to my, it's a personal encounter with him. Pay attention. Man can only award you. Only God can. Re Let us return back. To the scriptures, return back to the Bible, to the real life of Christ. Those days, you don't need to give up worldliness because the day you gave your life to Christ, you kept, you wept, you cried to God and said, Lord, anything, take me away. And as soon as the Spirit of God ministered to you, all you say is nothing between, Lord, nothing between. And you take those things away, this time and age. We preach and preach and preach. There is no conviction. And then we want to force it in our time. We were wasting our time. Let them live the life they want to live. When God touches them, nobody will say. When a revival, the point where we become indifferent about lost souls, about backsliders, and we can laugh and chat and smile and do business as if heaven. It's no more existing as if hell is no more It's an indication of backsliding in our own personal life. When we now begin to depend on the arm of the flesh, on prayer to get anything done, I know how to do it. I did it before. Brother, you need revival. You need revival. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. You have to be trusting in the arm of the flesh. There is need for revival.
for revival. Points in our church where the supposed believer, and I'm not just preaching, I'm talking about real life story. Not just happening here alone, happening here, happening there, happening that state, happening that state, happening that country. Because we call for revival of people, people have come. And now we have mixed multitudes in the church. In the Lord, multitudes. Real soldiers of the cross. And now we have people that cannot go on their knees and tarry before the Lord and say, Lord, I will not let you go except you bless me like Jacob did. But now, they're looking for a quick solution. Change with God. They cannot wait for the time of God for their miracle to come. They are a miracle from anywhere when a revival. And I can tell you we're happy for right now. And it's a shame that we have people that have been in deep alive Bible church for 10 years. And then when they supposed by now, by now, to be in a position ministering to the sick, leaving the oppressed, casting out devils and demons. You see this? Now looking for pastors and prophets to pray for them. When in revival, you. now we have pastors' wives that will go there for prayer and by the time they come back, they are coming back with something else. I can tell you how many of them are already having broken homes now. Somebody will say, I'm a Christian. Just for one week. For one month. For one year. And there is a real conversion. Evidence in you. You don't want to all who began with the Lord and ended up at the end of going to if you have prayed and there is no answer if you have prayed and there is I don't you say Lord your can never fail that may pass away but not a jot or tittle of your word if there is any breach the fault is with me and then you fall on your face and say Lord have mercy upon me have mercy but instead of that, you want it done at all costs. Like the Professor Baal. Answer us now. Answer us. They caught the of things. So, instead of seeking the Lord, quick answer, urgent answer, I need. You will never get breakthrough until you have it from the Lord. Seek for me. Somebody with familiar spirit. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 7. Then Saul so, so, seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit. That I may go to her and inquire of her. You want to know the mind of God? You want to go to people with medium spirit. You want to go to pastors that never knew, or prophets that never knew, or teachers or evangelists that used to be genuinely converted. People that have life with God. You want to go to them? You must have heard me say this before. A young man, particular pastor somewhere in Africa. And the pastor, prophet, or whatever the name, said, Kneel down and downloaded the spirit of Python into him.
there is somebody right now of these pastors he came to me for prayer I was praying with him I was praying for him and uh, you see him throwing whatsoever was in this python was saying I'm not going now of this particular, and he mentioned the name of the pastor that sent him there. And when the power of God was coming, he was thrown out like blood. Like blood. And when I say, uh, come come out, he was, you see him start speaking in tongues. Prophets, prophecy. He start prophesying. He went to the enemy's camp. Deliver you in Jesus' name. I have somebody right now. Listening to all these people online and then pack her load. Travel to Africa. I won't tell you where. To go meet those people. By the time she came back, she told her husband. The Antichrist is here already. America is, this is someone living in America. The mark of 666 is here. The vaccine is 66. They said the safety is in Ghana. Go to Ghana. She's not a Ghanaian. The people telling her to Ghana, they telling her to go to Ghana. They didn't leave Nigeria. What is wrong here? They have put something in her brain. She's not. Before you know it, she had withdrawn. Then when the husband was delaying, she left the husband, left the, the, the children. Now she's gone. Because some people that have downloaded things in her. I have another one in another. This other one is. That also said, I'm going, I'm going. My husband, Pastor, you, you don't have power. What in the power belongs to man? You are a failure yourself. Power is unto the Lord. And you must have had me over the years. That if I'm praying for you, it is God I'm praying to. And if I am praying to that God, there is something that qualifies me to pray for that God. And the state of your life that will determine you or not to answer it. Because if your life, he will not give the children the children's meat unto dog. To cut a long story short, she came back from wherever she went. She doesn't come to church again. She's now behaving almost like a crazy person. Strength fire. Strength fire. There is another one again. Many will I tell you? That God to know this prophet. May the Lord deliver us in Jesus' name. Turning point in your life. I will tell you. But when you try to go the wrong way, children of e, um, uh, Moses' brother, what's the name again? They brought in the censor. Fire. All that means is the same censor they have been using. It's the same fire, but they were trying to do what God has not commanded. You know what happened? The fire of God came from heaven and consumed them. May you not be consumed in Jesus' name. I need a better one. I need a better one. I'm here, 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 here. Because people cannot pray anymore. To tell you by God's grace, 
I was just about two years old in the Lord. I've told you before, I'm not tired of saying this. When somebody died, two years old in the Lord, and I was there, and I prayed, and the dead person came back to life. I was just a few years old in the Lord. When somebody that was pregnant, for whatsoever reason, just like five, seven years old in the faith at that time. And I prayed, and that very week, the pregnancy that had been tied up was delivered. I don't remember me going to this one, not even within the church. I pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. I had a personal encounter with God. Why not you? Why are you looking for people to pray for me, pray for me? Why can't you wait on the Lord? Why can't you trust in the Lord? And so, get water, holy water. How can you get holy water? How can you get holy water when you are not in relation with the Holy God? What makes the water holy? And then they tell you, wake up in the middle of the night, put up your candle. Ah, ah. Sister Christian. Brother Christian. When did we get to adding something else to the name of Jesus? My Bible says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue Jesus Christ is Lord. That is why in this church you don't see us tell you, bring oil. We don't believe in oil. Bring water. Bring Or go and do it this way, go and do it that way. All we give you is the name of Jesus. I said, all we give you is the name of Jesus. And I can tell you, that name works wonders. I was in Georgia um, to let you know. Reviver. Huh. A brother there, now he's a pastor by God's grace. His testimony then, openly before everybody. The wife was having pregnancy, miscarrying, miscarrying. I spent five minutes in his house. And I left. That month she took in again. The children now that came up to us, they are now in the university. This God is still alive. He's still working. If only you can believe him, he's still working miracle. Praise the Lord. What are you looking for? You heard our sister. Somebody went somewhere. They said, do you know somebody by this name? Tell her she's going to die on the 16th of December. Right here. Actually, they said she should come over. I said, don't go. I said, don't go there. I said, mark your calendar. On the, then I pick my phone. I look at it, and then it is to this day. And I said, on the 19th of December. They said, you're down on the 16th. I said, on the 19th of December, you'll be here to give your testimony. Did you hear her give the testimony today? This God is still alive. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? String fire. It has come in, it will go out. I said it will go out. Point one. Perilous promotion of revival with strange fire. Perilous promotion. Looking for promotion. Exhortation. A change. Elevation. But it's a destructive one. It's an unscriptural way of looking for it. You 
you may get to it, but you will never enjoy it. Ecclesiastes that they get a peach, I fall into it. And whoso breaketh and hedge, a serpent shall bite him. Chapter 10, verses 1 and 2. And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and took and put incense thereon, and offer strength fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord, and they died before the Lord. They died before the Lord. The teaching, and then the question. Korah, Beta, and Abira. Was it pride or what? Of course, if it is not pride, what is it? They are looking for recognition. They are looking for position. They were looking for power. They were take the place of Moses, act like Moses. You serve the authority of Moses. Moses asks them, what are you all doing? He will call them to dialogue with them they said we will not come at that point moses said if this it, then i have died but you are living on that course already because of what you have done whose spirit you have grieved because your case has been handed over to god Instead of running head as character, it was not dead Saul that he died. He still reigned many years afterwards. He was just feeling the guy. While God king, the shepherd of Israel. Figure head in Jesus' name. You are working and laboring. Why are you doing it? Chronicles chapter 25, verses 1 and 2. Tells us about the case of Amaziah. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign. God called him early. God honored him early. And he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jehoadan of Jerusalem. Stop right there. Mothers, look up, look up, look up, look up. You are the closest. If things go wrong, fathers, you are the head of the family. If you don't play your role and do your part, God will ask you and they will judge you. Don't be afraid of your children. Why was Amaziah's mother mentioned? She had a negative role to play. May your role over your children will not be negative in Jesus' name. Verse 2, the Bible says, And he did that which was in the sight of the Lord. Stop it. Stop there, look up here. Come to church five Sweep the floor. You did it. Go here. Everything. It was right in the sight of the Lord. But you know why you are doing what you are doing. It's loyalty. You have an, you have an ulterior motive. If you have stopped there, you see a great man. But before you close the book, the Bible says, listen, he did it without a perfect heart. His services, no matter how right, were all rejected. Matthew 7, 21 says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. 
many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, we have, uh, have we not prophesied in your name, and in thy name I've cast out devils, and thy name done. And then will I profess unto them, tell me, never knew you. Depart from me, ye that walk iniquity. What are you doing secretly? Those that openly you are okay, but secretly behind, you are, you are digging a pit for says remove not the is in Proverbs chapter 22 verse 8, uh, uh, chapter 22 verse 28 landmark which that my fathers have said pay attention here Somebody asked the question, how about if the leader is not doing the right thing? And one of the people Administration. Administration. Do you know we don't know what is landmark anymore? Hear me well. Administration comes. The word. Of God, the doctrine stands eternally forevermore. Yeah. For the ancient landmark. Family runs their family differently. Administrations are done differently.
It sometimes depends on the environment where you find yourself. The situation happening, you connect your tight enough. At that time, organization, administration, that's why in, uh, in economics, they call it O&M, organization. Turn a method. This is how long you do this. That's how long you do. An organization. But when it comes to holiness, Hundred years to come, next no man shall see the Lord. Because Christ sanctified Himself without the gate. Without. Hypocrisy, that is the word of God. When it comes to obedience, that is the standard of the scripture. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. of holiness, of righteousness, of honesty, of love, of joy, of peace, of humility, of submission. of patience, uh, of endurance, the landmark of evangelism and so women cannot change, must not change. Amen. But when it comes to church tradition, which many of you doctrine and you want to die because of it. And go to hell because of it. Korah, Datan, and Abiram, because of administration, they went to hell. 250,000 people went to hell with
city. The first the pastor is not doing this, uh, is not doing it that way. Not the teaching of the gospel righteousness. It is not the way. This particular place, you know what they did? They went, he was. Preaching, they went, took the pulpit away from him. And in no time, some of those who are involved with all those, they lost their life. Brethren, be careful. If you're a leader, you don't... it right, there is an eye that is watching over you. He will judge you. I used to be in a particular location back in Georgia. Before I got there, people that are from the from the school of the prophets, they didn't say so. I'm the one giving it to them now. And then they would say the dream, the dream. They had vision. Sister Mary is going to marry Brother Peter. Matchmaker. This one is going to happen. It don't happen. 